Hello friends, welcome to this session of ANOVA and I titled it as a working tutorial and here nowhere we are going to learn theory of ANOVA. Just significant things, important things for our work we are going to learn. ANOVA is analysis of variance and that variance is slightly confusing because variance is not compared in ANOVA. In ANOVA we compare means and there also if more than two groups are there to compare then only we go, uh, we use ANOVA. Otherwise, we have to use other applicable tests. To use ANOVA, the data has to fulfill some assumptions. And that first assumption is each group sample is drawn from a normally distributed population. All populations have a common variance. All samples are drawn independently of each other. And within each sample, the observations are sampled randomly. And factor effects are additive or the variables effects are additive and we are not going in detail but these assumptions shall be followed by the data then only we can use the data for ANOVA. There are different versions of ANOVA. We are going to perform one-way ANOVA where, where one factor is responsible for the variation, two-way ANOVA where two factors are affecting the variation and when third or other factors are affecting the variation then we go for the blocking. There we add other factors to the model. Generally ANOVA is the additive model. But whenever the variables are interacting with each other, we have to consider interactions also. And those interactions also we are going to tackle. The data which we are going to use comes from the package AgriDat. And I am calling that package. And if you do not have installed that AgriDat package, then go to Tools menu, Install Packages. Type the name AgriDat there. Click that name. Click Install. And it will get installed. Run the line Library AgriDat. And the data which we are going to use will store as data frame data is equal to bancroft.peanut.uniformity. We'll run this to bring the data set in data frame data and we'll see head of that head data and uh, row vector is there, column vector is there, yield vector is there, block vector is there. We'll try to know more about this data set so that we can analyze it effectively. Bancroft.peanut.uniformity after question mark so that help will be there. It's a data frame with 216 observations on the following five variables. This data are obtained from two parts of the same field and this block is the two parts. We'll see the structure str data. Two factors are there in the block B1 and B2. These are two fields where in which the experiment has been performed. At this point, we are all set to run ANOVA. We know the data that there is a yield vector which is dependent vector and all others are independent vector. Let's create a model object that is ANOVA mod and one way is equal to. Initially, we will run one way ANOVA. Only one factor will be there and this is the function for that AOV analysis of variance in bracket the argument is the formula that dependent vector in our case that is yield and that tilde symbol tilde symbol is above the tab button and below the escape button on keyboard that tilde uh, first will use the row variable as the dependent one comma the data from which this is coming and that data is the data we'll run that and we'll see the summary of that summary in bracket name of the model ANOVA underscore mod underscore one way and we'll run that. Here we can see that p value is 0 0.0099. It's very less than 0 0.05 and therefore the effect of rho on the variation in yield is significant. Now we'll go for two way ANOVA and for that we'll copy this code to save typing and paste here just one way we are going to convert to two way and ma to make it two way we just add another factor by using plus symbol plus that another factor is call and here also in summary we will change that o to t to make it two way ANOVA and we will calculate the first model and first model has been calculated and we will see summary of that and here we can see that the p-value for rho is 0 0.01, effect of rho is significant. But effect of column is not significant because p-value is 0 0.81. Okay. Now we will see for the third variable that is blocking variable. And that blocking variable is uh, the uh, block. Okay. We will copy again this code 
control C and control V that TW will change to block BLK Nva underscore mod underscore BLK will be the blocking model and just will add the third variable after column that is block and we'll run that and to see the summary we'll have to add the model in summary function and that this model is ANOVA underscore mod underscore BLK and we'll see the summary and here we can see that effect of rho is again significant that is 0 0.003 very less than 0 0.05 uh, for column no significant effect is there p value is very high as compared to 0 0.05 and for block highly significant effect is there 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 12. up to this point we have seen uh, three variations of ANOVA one way ANOVA two way ANOVA and blocking now we will go for interactions many a times many factors interact together and their interactions may have the significant effects and for that just a change I have copy pasted the model that for interaction I have changed the model name to ANOVA mod underscore interaction and these plus symbols I will change to multiplication symbols asterisk and that will signify that interaction we have to probe uh, in summary also I will change the model name to summary in a ANOVA underscore mod underscore interaction and will run the model model has been calculated and the summary in summary we can see that effect of row is significant column doesn't have significant effect block has very significant effect and interaction of row and column is also significant p value is very less row and block is also significant interaction is significant uh, column and block interaction is significant but all three interactions together all three factors interacting together the effect is not significant therefore we can say here that row and column are interacting to have effect on yield row and block are interacting to have effect on yield and column and block are interacting with uh, to column and block also have the effect on uh, yield up to this point we have four models with us and now we have to know which model is actually the best one which model is providing reliable information to us and for that we are going to see the AIC criteria that is Akaige information content criteria and will require the library AIC C mod AVG for this purpose if you don't have this package installed then go to install package and type first three letters of the name appear name and click install and that package will get installed then call the library we'll call that library the function which we are going to use is AIC tab and this function provides us a nice table but the first argument for this function is the list of the model names and that list will create here mods i will give here and that will be list and in bracket names of all our models will be there i'll copy this to get the model names and control v one way model control v two way model control v blocking model and control v that is interaction model next argument will require is names for these models is equal to c in bracket inverted code one way one way and in the table these names will be there two way blocking blk uh, we will have the blocking full blocking and interaction model we'll run that and this also and we'll give those here mods is the first argument and model names is the second argument now we'll run that to see a table and here in the table we can see that for interaction there is AICC criteria 199 and for others higher AICC criteria is there and the model with lowest AICC criteria is the model which is more reliable here delta AICC is 0, 0.0 and AICC uh, WT this is explaining that maximum uh, effect or maximum variation is explained by this interaction model therefore for us this interaction model is the best model we will use its results to explain the uh, effect of row column and blocking variable block on the yield and as now we know 
the best model for us we will see its diagnostic plots using the generic plot function and the best model is the interaction model we will copy this name and we will give that name to plot function and we will run that to see the plot and it is asking us hit return to see next plot we will hit return and here we can see that residuals versus fitted plot and as we can see here that residuals are spread across this red line and this red line is the zero line and is almost horizontal uh, near to zero here. This says that our model is highly reliable, highly significant one and next plot which we are going to see is the normal QQ plot and it, all the standardized residuals are there on this uh, cross line and this cross line is going through zero here and almost slope is 1. Therefore, we can say that our residuals are normally distributed and this says that our model is also very significant one. No other variable is there to affect the dependent variable. Now, third plot which we are going to see is this scale location plot and this scale location plot, this horizontal line shall be near 1 and the residuals shall be spread across this line and very few outliers are there but uh, we can remove these outliers but no need because those are uh, very near to the, uh, the standardized residuals therefore again we can say that our model is most reliable one to explain the effect and the last one the plot is that uh, residuals versus leverage plot and again we can see that a uh, proper distribution is there cook's distribution distance is there and this says that this explains that our model is highly significant one and the best one and now we have seen how to uh, fit ANOVA models to our data, very di different variations of the ANOVA model and how to uh, find out which model is the best one and uh, using the AICC criteria also and using the plot criteria also. Thanks for watching this video. If you have liked this video, please click the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed to yet and share this video with your friends. Thank you.